This video uses Taylor series as a way to approximate definite integrals. Let's approximate the integral from 0 to 1 of cosine of x squared dx. This integral, together with the related integral with sine instead of cosine, are called Fresnel integrals and are useful in physics and in highway design. But it's not possible to integrate cosine of x squared directly and get a simple function to plug in the bounds to. There's no elementary antiderivative of cosine of x squared. But we can approximate this integral very closely using a power series. I'm going to start with the power series for cosine of x. Next, I'll plug in x squared for x into this template. I'll simplify a little. A power to a power, we can multiply the exponents. And now I'll find the indefinite integral as a power series by integrating my power series. When I integrate the power series, I can integrate term by term, which amounts to putting the integral sign inside the summation sign. Now, negative 1 to the n and 2n factorial only involve n's, not x's. So those are constants for the integration. I can put them on the side and just integrate x to the 4n which gives me x to the 4n plus 1 divided by that new exponent of 4n plus 1. For the indefinite integral, I'll add on a plus c, a constant for integration. But I actually want the definite integral, the integral from 0 to 1. So I'll evaluate my power series between 0 and 1. This means I plug in 1 for x and then subtract what I get when I plug in 0. Well, the second power series, its terms are entirely zeros. Even the first term, where n equals 0, becomes 0 to the 1, which is 0. And in the first power series, 1 to any power is just 1, so I don't really need that exponent right there. I'm going to write out the first few terms of my series. Notice that this is an alternating series. So if I just add up a partial sum, then I can bound my remainder by the absolute value of the next term. For example, if I use the first three terms, that's going to be within this number, this next term, of the true answer. So I just need to find a term that evaluates to less than 0 0.005, and I'll know that if I add up all the terms before it, I'll be close enough to the rest an right answer to meet my error request. Plugging a few of these terms into my calculator, I get already that this term, this third term with the 1 over 4 factorial times 1 ninth, is already 0 0.0046. 297, it's already less than 0 0.005. So in fact, I can get away with an estimate within that error bound of 0 0.005 just by taking those first two terms. And they add up to 1 minus 0 0.1, which is 0 0.9. Of course, I'll get an even more accurate answer if I also include the next term. In that case, I'll have 0.9046297. The true answer, or according to Wolfram Alpha, is 0 0.904524. So you can see I'm, I'm closer than 0 0.005 even after just two terms, and I'm extremely close after three. Taylor series are a fantastic way to approximate definite integrals, like the integral from 0 to 1 of cosine x squared dx.